There has been a battle going on. There has been an information battle. Do you believe or do you not believe? That is the question. And if you choose to believe, what is the consequences of that belief? Are you prepared for what the truth may be? Is mankind prepared for what the truth may be? This is what we will be exploring in this series known as Beyond Undisclosed. An eyewitness giving an affidavit is considered to be strong evidence in legal proceedings. It is a sworn statement made under oath and subject to penalties for perjury if the witness is found to be lying. The weight given to an affidavit in a legal case depends on various factors, such as the credibility of the witness, the consistency of their statement, and the corroboration of their account by other evidence. The recent revelation by the government that they have lied about UFOs does not affect the legal weight of eyewitness testimony. However, it may change the perception of the general public and lead to increased interest and scrutiny of UFO sightings. It is impossible to prove that something does not exist, especially in cases where there is no direct evidence either way. Therefore, the absence of evidence is not always evidence of absence. However, the scientific and eyewitness testimony along with physical evidence supporting the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life means that their existence remains highly likely and has been recorded in history for 1000s of years. There have been numerous affidavits claiming to have seen UFOs and strange unknown life forms operating these crafts. However, the reliability of these accounts is highly contested, and many skeptics argue that they are based on misconception, exaggeration, or outright fabrication. The number of affidavits claiming to have seen UFOs and extraterrestrial life forms is difficult to estimate, but it is safe to say that there are thousands of such accounts. Here are six examples of affidavits sworn to describing a UFO encounter. In 1980, two U.S. Air Force personnel claimed to have witnessed strange lights and objects near a nuclear weapons storage facility in England. Their accounts were later supported by other military personnel who claimed to have seen the same objects. In 1994, a group of school children in Zimbabwe claimed to have seen a UFO and extraterrestrial beings during recess. Several of the children gave detailed descriptions of the beings and their craft. In 2006, a commercial pilot reported seeing a large, unidentifiable object flying near his plane while en route to Germany. In 2013, a Chilean Navy helicopter crew captured video footage of a UFO flying over the ocean. The footage was later released to the public and gained widespread attention. In 2014, a group of US Navy pilots reported seeing strange objects flying at high speeds and performing impossible maneuvers while conducting training exercises off the coast of California. In 2020, a U.S. Navy ship captured footage of an unidentified aerial phenomenon, which was later released to the public. As for ancient historical accounts, here are four examples dating back as far as man has been able to write it down. The ancient Sumerians, who lived in Mesopotamia around 4500 BCE, depicted beings in their art and literature who were said to have come from the stars. The ancient Egyptians believed in beings called the Netaru, who were said to have descended from the heavens and interacted with humanity. The ancient Greeks wrote about beings called the gods, who were said to have lived on Mount Olympus and possessed advanced technology and knowledge. The ancient Hindus wrote about beings called the Devas, who were said to possess supernatural powers and were worshipped as gods. Based on the amount of witnesses and affidavits as compared to those who claim the witnesses were lying, it appears that the weight of evidence supports the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life forms. While there are certainly naysayers who dispute the veracity of these accounts. They have no factual basis for their claims and are generally considered to be uninformed or skeptical of evidence. Overall, the weight of evidence suggests that UFOs and extraterrestrial life forms are a real phenomenon that warrants further investigation and study.